Welcome to a new vlog. Today we are taking a closer look at the Neo M8N GPS module that I showed getting in a recent video. A few people mentioned in the comments that uh, there are a lot of fakes being sold on eBay, so I should check mine to see if I got a fake or not. First, uh, we're going to try to do a visual inspection of our module because apparently the first sign you can spot is a QR code instead of a data matrix printed on the label on the module itself. So let's take this one apart to do a visual inspection. So our first sign looks good. We do have a data matrix uh, code printed on the label itself. But we're going to have to dig deeper. It would be nice to take a peek under the can but as I'm looking at it, it appears to be soldered and that's going to be a pain to uh, take off without uh, damaging something around here. The next verification we can do is uh, through uCenter, which is the command center for uBlocks that allows you to talk to these modules and do things like upgrade their firmware. The fake modules apparently are missing the external flash memory that would allow a firmware upgrade. So I connected my module to the computer through a serial to USB converter. And then in uh, use center, uh, I went to tools and then firmware update and uh, use these settings. The firmware update pack needs to be downloaded from the uBlocks website. You just go to the uh, M8N uh, page and then uh, inside the uh, resources page, you will find the link to download the firmware. Uh, I loaded the firmware pack into this dialog. I switched the baud rate to 115k to speed up things. However, this is where my luck stopped because after clicking OK, I got this error message, flash detection timed out, which means my module does not have a flash chip. I also wanted to get a uh, physical confirmation, so I uh, slowly pry the top of the can with a small screwdriver while hitting with the soldering iron on the joints holding it together. I managed to pull the cap off without damaging anything and I had my confirmation that the module I have is indeed missing the flash chip. Just for reference, here is a picture I found on the uBlocks forum, a comparison between a module that has the flash chip and a module without the flash chip which is exactly what I have here. So the one hang low factor in China makes these counterfeit M8N modules, but saves a dollar by not fitting them with the flash chip, which would make the module firmer upgradable like the original ones. From the information I gathered on the internet, the GPS chip is still the original M8030 KT from uBlocks. So if they did not skimp on other components, you should get identical performance to the original module, except that you are running an older version of firmware, which is stored inside the internal memory, but does not support reception of uh, Galileo satellites. As far as I could tell from uh, Wikipedia, the Galileo system is not yet finalized, so I'm not sure how much benefit you would get from receiving data from Galileo as well. But it's nice to be aware of the issue and uh, be able to decide for yourself whether or not this affects you. If you got a module like this and would like to check if yours is genuine or not, the first step is to look at your uh, label on the module. If you have a QR code instead of a data matrix printed on the label, you are most certainly uh, using a fake module. But if yours is like mine with the correct uh, data matrix uh, printed on the label, then you need to continue by connecting the module to your computer and trying to do the firmware update. You will immediately find out if you have the flash chip or not and that will be your confirmation if you have the genuine module or not. I don't think the eBay or AliExpress sellers know about this issue, so talking to them about the issue, asking if they have a genuine module or not, will not get you any useful answers. I guess you could ultimately ask for a refund, but I'm not going to do that because the module works, you just can't upgrade the firmware, so it wouldn't be fair to ask a refund from the seller. So thank you guys for pointing this issue to me, I would have never checked if it weren't for your comments, so thank you for that. I hope this video was uh, interesting, 
don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.